And welcome to another game of 1v3 action. I've got myself on my own team, 2700 ELO versus my Patreon members, Emperor Peter, at around 1000 ELO. UKSpeedCubes.co.uk, totally not a plug, by the way. He's around 1350, not a lot of games played, having around 1000 team game ELO. So he's around somewhere there. He owns the largest speed cube shop in Europe. Let's go. Then we got Shoot Gen at 900 ELO. And he just shoots gens. That's all. All right. They're all ready. We're going to be playing on runestones. And I'm going to rock the Turks for this one. We're live on Twitch. So you'll see some weird people typing in the chat. And uh, yeah, let's do this. 1v3. I'm rocking the Turks because I have a few things in mind here. A few things in mind. I want to A, get to light calf. Shocker, I know. Oh, you love Hussar. You only play with Hussar. I, guys, I understand. But like, it's runestones. 1v3. I need my mobility. So I want free light cap upgrade. With the plus one armor, I think that would be really good at dealing with archer units. Then, as my support units, or as my main units, as far as supposed to be support units, then I would go CA or gunpowder, hand cannon or janissary. My siege would be bomber cannon or siege ramp. So that's kind of my, my thought process going into this one. And of course, we have never want, done one of these on runestone, so it's good to get one of them up on YouTube. Runestones is very similar to Arabia. It's an open, kind of like semi-open land map, but it's a lot flatter, less hills, easier to play. Your map is better. I honestly prefer it to Arabia more often than not. All right, so let's go ahead and do the early game. Completely standard early game. All right, do that here, put that there. Excellent. Get one one closer. Nice. All right. Good stuff. They said they were all going past them. I don't believe that for a second. Just for context for the YouTube people, I had to take a small break, so I brought the the opponents on on stream to talk to my chat. And I think they talked strategy, but I think my chat's lying to me about it now. Talking about fast them from enemies. They don't got fast in civilizations. I don't, I'm not buying it for a second here. Alright, let's do this. Get the boar, bring in this deer. Might have to eat that. So if I eat that, I don't eat the boar yet. Oh, what? No, what? What are you guys doing? Okay, that wasn't so bad. It's fine. Alright, we'll do this and we'll grab the boar. I just got the rest of the map before luring more deer. So that I don't want too many rotting animals. Yeah, I mean, melee can fast them, but I'm not too worried about that. Because I have the Turk Light Cab with extra armor. It's basically an Imperial Age unit. It's so freaking strong. Guys, I, I genuinely think Turks are, like, a little underrated right now. And I'm kind of shocked I never really used them in these, uh... In these 1v3s. Thing is, like, they're not easy to play. Because you kind of have to, like, get value off weird, like... Off weird plays, like staying on Light Cab. Or getting a like a castle earlier for Janissary. Or maybe fast stimping. Like you have a lot of weird plays, but they're all very powerful. And that's what I really like about the Turks. So I think I'm gonna open I think I'm gonna go fast castle this time. Because if I can fast castle light cab and they go archer, and I get just plus one armor on light cab, what happens is I basically get plus two armor. Meaning the archers only do one damage, so I don't die to archers. Then if they go cavalry, I go camels, which is perfect. Alright, so we have the general game plan right now. We have the general game plan. Uh, we're gonna wall this up right there. Very nice. All right, bring in this guy. Yeah, 
Nice. Okay, very good. wall up a little bit just to stay a little safe uh oh nice. get loom just in case they hit feudal age i'm gonna get my scout back as well oh i'm trapped Down one bill, it's okay. Oh boy, it's getting hard already. Okay, now we pass castle. We do it with a stable. Okay, I know it's a defensive start, but I think it's the best way to do it. Invite the pressure to me, have the tools to defend it. This is kind of what you guys always tell me to do in the comments. It's just like fast castle, don't, don't play scouts. So I'm kind of taking your advice on this one. Oh. I'm plugging the Patreon with walls because it looks like a P. Oh, that's 200 IQ, what the hell? Subconsciously making you guys think about Patreon. They don't teach you that in marketing class. Alright, do that. Uh, I'm gonna go for a market and not a blacksmith, I believe. Because I'm not even sure if I'll be able to up the next stage. Scouts, I'm I'm fine. That scouts from Magyars. Let's do one more. Oh no no no! That was just one scouts. You leave that. Oh my god. Oh, that's actually really good. Uh, okay, let's go up here. Kill that guy scout with the spear. I'm gonna abandon berries. No wall behind. Oh, he even paid attention. Wow. Incredible. Well played, guys. Well played. Can I, I'm getting my ass kicked so far. I'm not going to lie. I can't really consider... Do, do they have an archer player? I don't think so. 
Are they countering my light cap strat by going archers? By going uh, no archers, maybe. I'm gonna go. I have to go camels now. I don't see a single archer, but if they have archers, that's so strong. You know, actually, the ratings are not like this is not the hardest 1v3 I've ever played from ratings. But so far, I think this is one of the hardest for how low the ratings were supposed to be. Like, it was not like 3 1300s, you know? But they're really putting their brains together for this one. I respect that. Sometimes you can hit through the wall. Let's see if I can cheese him. Oh, what do you mean through the wall? It's open. Oh, shit. Actually, this is good for me. Now they're trapped in my base. Oh, this is really good for me. 200 IQ? A bait? I'm a late past castle. Yeah, I wonder what that's gonna bring. Maybe a castle drop. Cereals. Dude, don't be don't let this be the first. Yikes. I gotta get my economy up. You just gotta heal later. I lost my stable. That kind of sucks. We'll do 30 CD. That's a reasonable position. And then after I'll get horse collar. And now I want the monastery. So I don't know. The melee player is in the strongest position because he passed castle. They didn't do anything. The other two I'm fine with. But what the hell? He's gonna go take my stone like that? Does he have a castle? Does he have a permit? Anything? I'm not gonna let this slide. Freaking karambits! Well, I think I played this guy in another one v another one v three, and he also did karambits. He's like a melee one trick, I think. He always goes karambits. The freaking the legend of Emperor Peter here, like <laughs> freaking crazy. <laughs> so, this guy's always going karambits. Could trap them here.
No! No! Oh my god, that's so bad! Oh, that's actually maybe a GG right there. How can I let him open up? Idling me a lot. That forward castle. Karambits are really good because they don't die to monks. He's got so many of them, so I convert one, who cares? And nothing really else kills them that easily. Maybe a few knights, but. But now he's giving his allies a really good chance to pull ahead. Oh, in come the knights. Oh boy, this is gonna be really hard. I hope I hope the knight players give me a bunch of knights. So far so good. Freaking good castle. What do Kramitz die to, really? Crossbows. That's pretty much it. We ha we have to give this uh this whole TC up. going down and to remake that one problem is my situation is getting worse not better Wow. Oh, GG well played. 
can't last any longer. I, I think I actually played pretty well too, but I have to give them credit. The strategy, the Karambit, is like the only unit in this situation that gives me this hard of a time. It, it's truly the perfect unit. Really well played, guys. That was sick. Any other units? No problem. Monk can defend, Town Center can defend, but Karambit is way too cheap and way too spammable, so monks can't hold it. And that gives the two knight players a chance to destroy me. And they didn't go any archers when I was on light cap or when I wanted to go light cap. Damn. GG. Well played to them. Fun, fun game for sure. And we don't even have highest score. Which is, uh, even if you lose these, usually we have highest score. That was sick. Maybe I need a TA or something. Maybe, some, yeah, maybe some siege, some scorpions. Damn. Let's go. I'm, pr I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. That was a, that was a good strat. Uh, freaking Emperor Peter kills me every time with Karambits. This is the second time. I swear. Go back and watch the Team Islands one. 1v3 on Team Islands. He did the same thing to me. He landed me with Karambits. 37 bills. This guy's like a one-trick Karambit player. <laughs> Why does he have a university? Is he getting ballistics? Why, why the university? Everything else I understand, but that's strange. Double castle forward? Holy moly. Well done, Peter. 930 ELO. Like that. Just, just shitting on me with karambits. <laughs> I was losing the 1v1. <laughs> I was legit losing the 1v1. Uh, like I was, it was hard to stabilize. And then obviously I got these two guys to worry about. Fun game, fun game. GG's. All right, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy it. If you want to get in on these games, get in on the secret server I have for my Patreon members. Link in the description. Uh, and I have a bunch of tiers if you guys want to check that out. So check that out if you're interested. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.